Annyeonghaseyo, my name is Katie, and today I'm going to be reviewing Splash Splash Love. This is a mini drama, or a special drama, I guess it's considered, that came out in December of 2015. It only has two episodes, but it, oh my gosh. I had to review it. Splash Splash Love stars Kim Sol Ki and Yoon Do Joon. And originally I like had no intentions to watch it because for some reason I was under the impression that it was a full length historical drama and I was neither in the mood to watch full length historical drama nor did I have the time. Uh, right now my new quarter of college has just started and I don't have the time to watch full dramas and I'm sticking to shorter dramas so I wasn't gonna watch Splash Splash Love if it was a full drama. But I looked further into it and realized that I only had two episodes, which I'd never heard of a drama only having two episodes and I wasn't sure how it would play out. But I had two hours to spare and decided to give it a shot. Splash Splash Love is about a girl who is a high school senior and she is taking the SATs and the pressure is really getting to her so she runs away and tries to find a way to disappear. Little does she know she has the ability to transport anywhere on rainy days. So she ends up jumping into a puddle and gets transported back to the Joseon era where she meets the king and starts up a very interesting relationship with him. Now, oddly enough, Splash Splash Love is the very first time travel drama I have watched. I haven't watched Faith or Rooftop Prince yet or any of those, so I have nothing to really compare it to. But what I can say just from watching it is that it was a very clever drama. I don't know if all time travel dramas are like this or what, but I really, really liked this. The writers did a really good job of getting me attached to the characters in only two episodes. That's like a big deal. It's like movie length, and I'm usually not that attached to movie characters after just two hours. But I was like fully invested in the story within the first episode, which is pretty darn amazing. I felt that everything was very well paced considering it was such a short drama. I would have loved more episodes of Splash Splash Love. I I've noticed that many other people would love Love more episodes as well. But at the same time, I felt like they did a good job of making it into such a short show. They kept everything concise and did a really good job of telling a convincing and intriguing story within the time they had. One of the things I really loved about it, and one of the reasons I think it's so clever, is because they took the tiniest details in the drama and tied them together. Everything fit into the pieces of the puzzle and came together to create a very well thought out show. The acting was awesome. The only cast member that I was really familiar with was Kim Sol Gi, and I've seen her in Flower Boy next store and Oh My Ghostess, but she was supporting characters in both of those, so this is my first time seeing her in a leading role, and she did a very good job. She proved herself that she can pull off a main character, and I loved it. She had such a quirky personality, and her character was very appealing. I haven't seen Yoon Do Joon in anything, but I really, really liked his character. He was a very good character. He was one of those male leads who was just a nice guy, and you kind of fell in love with him. I really liked him, and he pulled off being all regal and the king, but at the same time he had a very fun and friendly personality, which is a nice change from regular male protagonists in dramas. One of the things that surprised me about Splash Splash Love was the OST. Usually in historical dramas, which is what I consider this, the OST consists of classic Korean instrumental music because it's a historical drama and there's not like modern pop music or anything, but that was not the case with Splash Splash Love. This drama had a modern OST, which I found very interesting and it actually fit the whole quirky tone of the show. I thought the OST was catchy and I really like it. It's like such a feel-good soundtrack and I've already downloaded some of the songs because I love it. The use of modern upbeat songs was a very pleasant surprise. It added to the whole tone of the show. Splash Splash Love was also unique because it did not contain much drama. There were definitely some conflicts within the show, but it wasn't full of K-drama cliches. This just told a very interesting and well-told story. It did involve some history, which from what I've heard is based on true historical events with of course the time travel twist added into them, and I thought it was really cool to see that. Overall, I really, really, really liked Splash Splash Love. Again, I wish there were more episodes, but I am very satisfied with what we got because it was very well done, and I rated it a solid 8.5 out of 10. I would definitely recommend this to anyone. I think it would be a good one to recommend to friends that you're trying to get into drama simply because it's so short, and it's not full of super cheesy cliches. It's fun and upbeat, and I feel like a lot of people can enjoy it, but at the same time, it makes you feel all the feels. This drama definitely made me feel the full range of emotions. I do know some people have said they cried while watching it, which I totally understand. I didn't cry, but I was definitely emotional. There were moments where I was super happy, and then there were moments where I was like, no, it's okay. It was great. 
right, this is a wild afternoon <laughs> just watching Splash Splash Love. Anyway, I'm definitely gonna recommend this drama to my friends, even if they don't watch dramas, because I feel like they could easily get into it, and since it's so short, there's really no excuse to not watch it. I think it appeals to a wide range of audiences. I also think it would be a good one to watch if you're in a drama slump and want to get out. It's short, it's sweet, still feels like a full, fleshed out drama, and it was just, it made me so happy. So I really, really liked Splash Splash Love. It's probably one of the biggest surprises I've had from watching a drama just because I wasn't expecting much of it. I actually didn't know what to expect because it was only two episodes. I ended up being very pleasantly surprised and I'm very glad I took the time to watch it. It's one I would probably re-watch in the future. So let me know in the comments if you have watched Splash Splash Love. We can discuss. I will leave a link to the review I did on my drama list down below. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to watch Hannah's videos and my other videos and subscribe and we will be back soon. Anyang the pool.